Hello all traders. In this video, I'm gonna go through the three essential trend line trading strategies that you only need to consistently trade any market. These strategies come from three setups that we use in the price action algo trading system and have different win rate and win to loss ratio that provides edge. So based on the macro structure that can be used in a specific market conditions to take advantage of them. We teach mainly the setup T, which is a trend following setup in the first 11 module, which is suitable for the novice traders because of the high win rate. But we also teach other setups such as C and B in the advanced path, which might be useful for other traders based on their psychology and time frame and risk tolerance. So before we begin and discuss these in details, you have to know these four facts that are listed here and I go briefly through each of them. First, you need to know price action psychology of trend line trading and understand how the support and resistance works, whether it is a static or dynamic. You have to know the four major players that move the price and create a pattern that these trend lines become reliable and price respond to them. And this psychology of price action is the basis that trend lines works. Then you have to know how to draw the trend lines. Therefore, please go through the lessons and also the drills that we have on YouTube and we explain in detail how to draw the trend lines that creates dynamic support and resistance. And eventually when you learn how to draw dynamic support and resistance on the price chart, you create dynamic channel, which in fact provide you with the information on the price pattern that you see. So from the price turning points, we go to the trend lines and with two trend lines, we recognize the patterns and also we can do analysis of momentum, which is important. So I recommend you go through all these theoretical lessons that are provided for you for free on the YouTube. Also, we have example of Pat Smart drills that I highly recommend you go through them to practice and trust the trend line trading system. The other important topic is to recognize the differences between signals, patterns, setups, and a strategy that I covered in an earlier video, and you can refer to that and the important information that you eventually need to turn a setup to a strategy and only a personalized profitable trading strategy is what you need for consistency in the market. And the last point is that as I said, mastering comes with the practice using a smart drills similar to flight simulation that is used to train pilots. And the best way to get mastery in trading, we provide path trial free of charge that covers basic to advanced dynamic price action lessons and includes these essential drills. And you not only gain theoretical knowledge about the dynamic price action, but by doing the smart drills yourself, you will gain mastery, which is needed to understand and be able to use these setups that I'm gonna explain for you in the next few slides. So with these introductions, let's get into the setup T that stands for trend following and the urge from this setup comes from its high win rate with moderate win to loss ratio and to catch these setups we go to our structural chart and find the core of the trend in the center of the price swing of the structural chart so you can clearly see a downtrend or uptrend channels on the trading chart so your structural chart, which is going to be three to 10 times higher than trading chart, should be in uptrend or downtrend. And also your trading chart need to show a clear uptrend channel that is aligned with the uptrend channel of the structural chart with good momentum and using the center of the trend on the structural chart. You're trying to find these small pullbacks on these candles using the smaller trading charts in the right oversold and overbought area with good win to loss ratio. Therefore, this setup uses the structural chart to make sure the higher time frame is trendy with good momentum. So when these algos one, two, three pass, then you're looking for the overbought oversold area and good to risk to reward ratio and entry signals to enter a trade in a high probability trading area. So this was briefly the setup T 
and we discussed in previous video how to turn a setup T to a setup T strategy. For that, we need to consider five other factors. The first one is when we consider the macro market risk, and with that knowledge, you learn in theory how to find the best setup T area that has lowest risk to adjust your expectation, your risk, and your lot size and money management. But there are four other personal elements that we discussed during mentoring and coaching and need to be personalized based on trader's experience, personality, patience and time frames, and risk tolerance. And be journaled and monitored continuously under a coach supervision till you develop right habits and gain proper execution skills. So in all three setups, we have a macro market risk evaluation. I use with many other traders personally a higher macro chart time frame to be able to see clearly all risky areas. And when you understand the three patterns of the macro, the structural and trading charts and combine it together, you will get 27 scenarios that based on alignments of the price on different areas of these three charts, you will see areas that setup T is formed within the uptrend or downtrend or sideway macro conditions. So from the 27 conditions, we have six setup T conditions and that defines profit expectation and lot size that varies based on the macro risk condition. So if I overlap all these three macro structural and trading charts on one single chart, you will see that setup T is formed in the core of the macro and structural trends. So when a novice trader finds a good area of pullback on the trading chart in the center of the major macro uptrend, the buying pressure in uptrend from the macro and structural major players push the price easily to reach the target with high win rate and also with good win to loss ratio that leads to good runners. So here you see another example that the macro chart is in uptrend forming a wedge, but on the structural chart we see an uptrend with good momentum and using a smaller trading chart one can identify area that pullback got completed and enter multiple positions here with higher win rate and good win to loss ratio. And these are the area we consider it very low risk because the macro and structural charts are aligned and we are away from the static and dynamic macro support and resistance area. And about the four other factors that turn a setup to a strategy, the trader's experience for setup T is important as the novice traders cannot trade the high risk areas when the macro chart pattern is in sideways or is against the trend and only advanced traders can trade all those six scenarios whether the macro is in sideways, uptrend or downtrend. About the trader's personality, time frames and risk tolerance and many other factors, we have a comprehensive trading plan that during the coaching session we personalize it with traders. So as I mentioned in the previous video, the setup T is not forming very frequently and you need a trader's personality that is patient and can follow the rules and the trader's time frame and their difference need to be adjusted in a way that provides enough signal to the trader so the person is not bored or get excited too much and over trades. And also in terms of risk tolerance, many novice traders are highly risk averse and this setup is suitable for them because it provides very high win rate and low account drawdown. So this setup is not suitable for risk-seeking aggressive individuals. And when all these factors are incorporated into a trading plan, customized and suitable for traders, we see that a person with good personality and risk tolerance and proper time frame can successfully identify setup the opportunities that provides high win rate and low number of consecutive loss and also account drawdown. And we have shown earlier that how one can use this setup strategy to successfully pass prop firm challenges with high win rates and very high consistency and also very low account drawdown. And all these rules are often challenging for traders and see often that they fail the prop firm accounts or get margin called when their equity hits the trailing drawdowns, when they use improper setup and also money management. 
So that was a summary of setup T and how we personalize it and adapt it to setup T strategy based on traders' personal variables. And now we go to review other setups and strategies. About the setup C that stands for counter trend, this setup has a lower win rate, about 60%, but it compensates for its edge by having a higher win to loss ratio. And if we look at the structural chart, we see that the price is reversing, but in the trading chart, we can see that the price is in uncertain sideways area. And in fact, it's the first wave of the established uptrend. And because of that, it has lower win rate, because as you see, the price has to pass here and stay above this line, which is the previous high on the structural chart. And before it crossed this point, and establish itself the price is still in a sideway and it may reverse very well and establish this sideways pattern or it may totally reverse and form a lower low and lower high or it may form this wide range sideways pattern and therefore is in uncertain sideways area so this kind of sideways pattern happen more frequently and if we want to adapt it to the setup c strategy Based on the trader's personality, time frames, and risk tolerance, it is suitable for traders who are less rule follower and less patient and have a fear of missing out to lose the first wave of the trend. So it's suitable for the higher risk tolerance individuals. About the setup B, which stands for breakout failure, this setup has much lower win rate, less than 50%. So the edge for this setup is coming from the high win to loss ratio. And as you see on this structural and macro charts, it is at the extreme area of the price turning points that the price often pass and penetrate this important support and resistance area and fail to continue. And you can see on the trading chart as a spike often that happens and get rejected. And that's the area we recommend the novice traders do not trade because it has much higher risk and potential to trap the traders because of the lower win rate. And as you saw on this table before, when the win rate is about 50% or lower, you have much more chance of having consecutive losses in a row. And that triggers the flight and fight response of many novice traders to over trade and fight with the market. So to make sure that this setup works, you have to wait for the major macro chart supports and resistance where there are a lot of pending orders from the market makers to get the best price and risk to reward ratio and they have money and patience to take a chance and buy at low and sell at high while retail traders have limited funds and patience so this setup still might be suitable for some traders because they have a warrior personality and they're impatient and they're seeking much higher risk and we recommend to take these trades when you use higher time frames so you can patiently wait for the price on the macro chart to reach a major static or dynamic support or resistance that often get rejected and you see large shadows and quick price reversals at this point so you're also better to enter with limit orders at the extreme points of the price extension and have a wider stop loss and a smaller position size and have a larger targets to compensate for the low win rate. So this was the summary of the three common setups that we teach in advanced path and work with the traders in order to turn them to a profitable strategy and take advantage of them if they have suitable personality and risk tolerance. Thanks for your attention and hope this information is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.